the tool of cinema is the first character of this film before anything else, because this conceptual film could be happened somewhere else and, uh, and with the same presence of the tool. So it's really part of the conceptual idea. It's really basic and simple. The idea that I had 100 meters long track for traveling, sh for traveling shots. And the idea is that I'm putting during all the, the 100 meters I'm shooting and the day after I go ahead for 100 meters more, putting again the tracks, shooting again, and like that until, for example, here it's 12 days, but it could have been 20 days or 25 days. It's connected with the topographical area and I was needing 12 days to make the turn of all this camp after. It's more a notion of work and in front of a lab camp, in, in front of this worker, I mean, so the, all the meaning of this film is to find the balance between the way that we were working to produce a representation of these people, which are workers, that have to be balanced, I mean, in terms of amount of work. It's not a documentary film. It's a document for sure. It's in, inform us about some things, about a reality that not so much people know, actually from so close, but after that it's another thing. It's uh, really a conceptual art gesture in f that go to cross an extreme reality of the society. So for me, it was really a conscious point that, uh, that I wanted to deal with. It's not the storytelling process, I mean, it's, it's really the, the thing that I really don't care in general. For me, it's more a relation between space and time. So there is no rupture to the representation of space, but there is a discontinuity of time. So it was really the conceptual idea that I want to touch with this project, to make a non-discontinuity representation of space. So when the track is arriving at the end, when the day after starting, we are exactly at the same place and on, on the same movement. But we are another day. So introducing the discontinuity of time was the more important for me. If we speak about editing, so a process of telling a story, the editing is physical, actually. The reality is connecting the shooting. It's not an editing process. If the track doesn't connect, the shooting are not connecting. So I think it's the, yeah, it's a metaphorical idea or transposition to the real about editing notion. It's not that I'm looking really something about space and time. I just consider that any representation, true cinema, it's a representation of a little space and time relation. I'm on this way to try to produce a kind of space and time totally autonomous. What I mean through that is that this reality of time and this reality of space are totally singular. And where they are totally interconnected, they are producing the film, actually. There is time over there, there is a space, it's true. But after that, the way that I was shooting was to link the reality of the time of over there during 12 consecutive days and the, and the reality of the physical space of the place. Shooting a film is shooting a film. The reality of the film has to be strong for itself. It's one point. But before that already there is another time that it's really a referring time for me, the reality that the film produces actually. And the time where the film is screened is important too. So finally, the, the question of this film is not only screening a reality in, for the people, because I never consider the film as a emitter, but it's more a receptor for me. So for me, the picture is it's on screen. If the viewer is not screening something on this picture, the picture doesn't give it nothing to him, actually. So it's for that that there is these two sides, actually. There is some information on the side 
And so you go to get some information from the back of the screen to come again in front of the opposite to, to project something else, another information that you get on the back, actually. So I like that the viewer is a screener, actually, is a, is a projector. The consideration of the installation as a dispositive for screening after that the work is really important. You have to to inform us about something else. So, so I think it's, uh, yeah, for this work it's like that, for other works it's another installation, but for me it's really important, yes. The sound is making the picture as we know. After that, I think that the picture is making the sound too. I think that the sound are clear because the framing, the story of this film is the story of framing. And it was important maybe that an information that you see really far away can be bring back. I was playing with it, I mean, for example, there is this motorcycle coming, which is the, the bread deliver. And for me, it was a kind of reference to time. And no matter if I don't see it, I have to hear it coming. Because if you hear it coming, you know what time is it, actually. So it works as a clock. So it was super important to have it. So you have it at different moments of the film. And so you can, if you want, from this film to make a reconstitution of the space, let's try to say, okay, what's up at what time, finally? You have a reference of the day, a reference of a time, each day, day after day, and at night, too. You see the space, you see all the space, so you can rebuild. So it's what I like, actually. It's for that that I speak about the process of the viewer to be a projector on it. I mean, to project on it is try to rebuild what we're seeing, actually. So it's not me that I'm disconstructing, finally. I mean, the reality and the film in general, any representational things, is for me uh, debuilding the real. Here, I try to be the more closer as possible to the real, actually. So it's for that that it's not a classical documentary thing, because documentary in general say, okay, I want to show that. Because I record that because I want to show that. Me, I don't care to show nothing. I want to record it. So it's different. <laughs>